Center the end plate bearing so that the spacer can slide all the way down. Place your next end plate bearing around that spacer and apply some oil. By applying more oil to the counterweight, it will keep the thin race from falling out. The oil pump driving gear goes down with the teeth facing the engine. This is the distributor driving gear with the largest bevel facing the engine. Drop the spring in the shaft and place the thermal pellet on top of the spring. Install the pulley hub and the main bolt in preparation for an in-play test. A great place to mount the meter for this test is on the water pump stud. We'll tighten the bolt to 60 foot-pounds of torque. Using a screwdriver wedged between the counterweight and gear bolt, we keep the shaft from turning. With the same screwdriver between the gear and counterweight, feel for end play. The amount of end play desired is 0 .0016 to 0 .0028. If the end play reading is less than 0 .0016, then replace the spacer with a thicker one. If the end play is greater than 0 .0028, replace the spacer with a thinner one or carefully sand this one down on a flat block. We are happy with the end play on this engine. Now we will install the oil pump. Take the main bolt and hub off to do so. Pre-lube the pump. Set the chain on the driven gear, rotate the pump over and set it on the engine while you place the chain on the driving gear. Install the four bolts. Notice the key is not in the shaft at this time. As each bolt is tightened, spin the driven gear to check for binding. Install the key, making sure it engages the counterweight. A good chain won't rub excessively on this counterweight. Install the remainder of the water pump housing studs.
Apply gasket sealant to this front cover gasket area. Install the O-ring and its retainer. Put on the front cover gasket. And set the front cover on the engine. and start all bolts before tightening any of them. Check to make sure the front cover gasket hasn't moved. Torque the bolts down. Apply lube to the hub where it comes in contact with the front main seal. And set it on the shaft. Apply petroleum jelly to the main bolt O-ring. Apply red lock tight to the first half of the threads. Make sure the main bolt has a washer staked in place or held in place by RTV. Apply RTV on the top part of the washer to seal the shaft and hub, otherwise you may have a nasty oil leak. Install the bolt and torque it to at least 60 foot-pounds. You may stick your screwdriver in between the counterweight and gear bolt to stop the shaft from turning while you torque it down. 